You actually been asking me to take y'all grocery shopping with me, but finally, today is the day. And it is the morning time, so first, I'm gonna have some water, but also because I need to actually empty this jug. So first on my list is I get my glass gallons, and then I'm also gonna grab my reusable bags for all of our fresh produce. And off we go. I know you guys are curious as to where I usually shop, and honestly, it's never one place. Usually, it's really just what I feel like going to that day, and this day, it's Whole Foods. But normally I would go to the farmer's market first. But honestly, a lot of the produce that you're getting from your local markets are still coming from your local farmers, which is of course contingent upon where you live. So for me, that means apples, definitely. Pears, yeah, those two. And I've actually never had this variety before, so I decided to pick it up because the price was right. Then we're gonna move on to the greens, obvi. I'm gonna get some kale and y'all know I normally go for the dinosaur, but we're gonna branch out and I'm actually getting just regular curly kale and something I never get because I actually never see this. Really good in salads. You get a nice crunch with a neutral taste. And I saw some dandelion greens, even though they didn't look the best, but you know, things in nature aren't always perfect. So I try to not let that be a deciding factor. However, you should always check your produce, but I'll tell you more detail about like what it is that I look for and exactly why later. As you can see, my cart is already getting like kind of full. This is for a reason. A, I do like 90% of my grocery shopping in this section. So I'm always gonna load up in produce before any place else. It's actually just a habit that I developed when I was raw and I can't shake it. So this is where I'm gonna get most of my food. And B, the perimeter of the grocery store is technically where you wanna do the majority of your shopping anyway, because it's the freshest. Essentially, that's where all the stuff that if you don't touch it within a reasonable amount of days, it's gonna start to go bad. Whereas anything else in the middle is more processed with the exception of the frozen fruit and vegetables. Be realistic though, because if you really like snacks and you don't buy them, you're just gonna get them elsewhere, which is why I order takeout. Also, you may or may not notice that I am buying predominantly organic, which I understand could definitely add up. I just consider it worth the investment. And I'm actually gonna talk a little bit more about that later. And when it comes to buying avocados, always keep in mind when you wanna eat them. So what I'll do is I'll buy one that's green, one that's kind of in the middle and one that's already black. A little tip is you can also just lift a little button at the top to make sure that the inside is still green. So if that color was like kind of brown, then that means that the inside is also brown. Then I'll head over to dry goods. And today I just grabbed some nuts and I do still use the bulk service. Um, I just make sure not to actually touch. I let the products fall into my bag. And also because this lets me control how much product I'm getting, which is usually more than the grab and go bags. And then lastly, I grabbed some vinegar and that was actually it for this trip because I don't let my refrigerator go completely empty. Not to mention, I always have a pantry full of stuff. So even if I have no fresh food, I still have things in the freezer. And I still have dry goods that I can turn into something. So now reluctantly, when I get home, the last thing I wanna do is usually put away groceries. So this is why I try to go shopping in the morning because now this is a whole nother process. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of the stickers. And I feel like this is best done at this point because once you put stuff in the refrigerator, it um, collects condensation and that actually makes it more difficult for you to get these stickers off. Case in point, because of the moisture, the wetness just won't let me get it off neatly. And while I could just buy a vegetable wash, I have way too much Castile soap in my house to justify buying something else. 
A lot of people fail to acknowledge that the bottle literally says 18 in one because you can use it for several different things. I use it around my house. You guys saw me clean up my last apartment with it. But with that said, a soap residue can be left behind. Same thing as when you take a shower and there's soap scum on your shower curtain or on the glass. So just like in my cleaning routine, I'm going to follow up with vinegar. So that was one of the reasons why I bought this at the grocery store because I had run out and I knew I would need some more because I use it for several things and this just happens to be one of them. And just a disclaimer, I'm not encouraging that anyone else needs to do this. This is just what I'm comfortable with doing. And I've tried to do my best uh, throughout this video at kind of showing you close-ups of why I go through these measures to clean my produce. Things like actual dirt, debris, soil, sand, but also critters. I even, for the first time this day, saw a clear insect. Yep, that's right. The entire thing was completely translucent. But because I am extremely observant and notice like a refraction of light at the corner of my eye, I was able to catch it. And it isn't uncommon for me to have that experience because as I mentioned before, I do buy a lot of organic. And while that doesn't mean no pesticides have been used, it does mean that they are of like plant origin, which may not mean anything because a lot of things in science are. But I guess the whole point of me saying all that is that if those animals are willing to eat it and are still living, then it kind of makes me feel better. Because as you will soon realize, I found a lot of very much alive animals. And that investment that I was talking about earlier in buying organic for my health comes from some literature that I read a couple of years ago. I believe it was on Carolian photography in which you can actually physically see a difference between organic and conventional. The organic items gave off more light or energy. And if I had to guess, I would actually say that that ladybug came from my kale because one of the things that I'm looking for is if it has lots of holes in it. And also when I picked up my greens, this chunky guy fell out. So yeah, now you see why I don't like to just throw things in my refrigerator because then you go have a whole ecosystem in there. And a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. It's still taking entirely too long for me to update my blog, but hey, it, I mean, this is real life. And as you guys know, I went on vacation recently, so I have been the priority and that's okay. But if you guys are in the market for a website, Squarespace just takes all of the guesswork out of it. If you don't have the time, like I clearly don't, there are a bunch of templates to pick from, as well as a bunch of tools to completely customize it. And they're as simple as just a click away. So you've got blogging tools, mailing lists, you can even buy your domain there too. So for 10% off your first purchase, head to squarespace.com backslash A between E to get started. And for storage, while I do really love stainless steel and I've raved about like these containers before, I still love them, but honestly, I predominantly use them in the freezer because as I've mentioned before, being able to see what is in my refrigerator at a glance is really important for me when it comes to not wasting food. So recently I've been using these. The only thing though is that you gotta be careful about making sure that you've got a proper seal around it. So for the time being, that's gonna have to do. I'm gonna put these at the top of the fridge where it's the coldest and this is the before shot of the refrigerator it doesn't look like a whole bunch but trust me there's food in there before we fill it up though i'm gonna save the stalks for my kale i take them out beforehand so they fit in the containers really easy I'm gonna load everything up except for any of my fruits that I want to continue to ripen, like my mango, my papaya, avocados. 
as well as onions, potatoes. And I was hoping to include in this video the meals that I made from this grocery shop, but I, I just wasn't sure how we should format this. So if you guys want more of these in the future and you would like me to do it that way, please let me know. But for the time being, if you'd like to see what I did with the bell peppers, then you can check out my video that I posted before this one, which features this pasta. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.